Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. This problem is amongst the top 50 questions asked in Facebook interviews. So let's look at it. In this question, we are given a dividend and a divisor and we have to perform the division operation without using multiplication, division or the mod operator. We also have to get rid of the fractional part in the output. We also have to avoid some integer overflows. So let's come up with an intuitive solution for this. Let's look at this simple example where we have to divide 10 by 3. As we have learnt in school that division is nothing but multiple subtractions, we'll repeatedly subtract 3 from the dividend until we cannot do it anymore. Hence the new dividend will become 7, 4 and then finally 1. And finally the dividend is less than the divisor, hence we cannot continue this operation. We could do this operation only 3 times. Hence the result is 3. And the time complexity would be? We will have to do this subtraction operation n by d times. And the space complexity would be constant. This time complexity of n by d would result in a time limit exceeded in lead code. Let's try to optimize this algorithm by reducing the number of subtraction operations. Let's look at a new example. Let's keep three variables in it. Decrement would represent the amount to subtract and counter would represent the amount to add in the output in case of a successful subtraction. Initially there will be 3 and 1. Now let's subtract by 3. The dividend becomes 29. And let's add 1 to the output. Now let's double the decrement variable. And similarly let's double the counter variable as well. Now let's subtract 29 by the new decrement. Hence the dividend becomes 23. Now let's increment our output by the counter variable. Let's again double the decrement and the counter variable. Now let's decrement the dividend by 12. Hence the dividend will become 11. Now let's increment the output by the counter variable. Let's double the decrement and the counter variable again. Now we cannot subtract decrement from the dividend anymore. Hence we'll reset decrement and the counter variable to their initial values 3 and 1 respectively. Now let's subtract 3 from 11. And let's increment output by the counter variable. Let's again double the decrement and the counter variable. Now let's decrement the dividend by 6. Let's increment the output by the counter variable. Let's again double the decrement and the counter variable. Now since 2 is less than 12, we'll reset the decrement and the counter variable to their initial values 3 and 1 respectively. Now since the dividend is even lesser than the original decrement, we'll stop our computation. Hence the output would be 10. The time complexity would roughly be log of dividend base divisor because we are doubling the divisor value and always trying to divide by it. The space complexity would be O of constant. Now let's implement our solution. Let's take the absolute value of our divisor and our dividend as it will simplify our solution. Our output is going to be negative if one of the divisor or the dividend is negative and the other one is positive. If either of these conditions is true, then our output will be negative. Now let's initialize our output to be 0. Till a is greater than or equal to b, we'll try to subtract from it. Let's initialize our counter to be 1 and our decrement to be the divisor. Now here we'll double our counter and the decrement on each successful subtraction. Hence we'll check if a is greater than or equal to the decrement. Now we'll subtract the decrement from a. Now we'll increment the output by the counter variable. Now let's double the counter and the decrement variable. 
Here we are just doubling these two variables. Now let's return the output if the negative condition is false, else we'll have to make it into a negative number. Now we can return our output after checking the overflow condition. As per the question, the output must remain in this range. These values are 2 raised to the power 31 and 2 raised to the power 31 minus 1. Now let's submit our solution. As you can see, our solution is accepted. If you have any concerns regarding this solution, please mention in the comments. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.